Alrighty, what is up everybody? If it is your first time here, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at GRT the graph. I know we got a big GRT following in the house. So we're going to look at a few things. Purely technical analysis, emotions have no place here at all. So let's jump right into it. Now, this looks very similar to the entire market but we're talking about just GRT. So we're gonna go through what we see uh, and real quick right off the bat, I can tell you that we have quite the bearish divergence right here. Clearly between point A and point B, that is a lower high, okay? Lower highs, lower lows. And we also look down on the Wilders index here in the same time frame, and we see we have a higher high on our Wilders index or our RSI or relative strength index however you like to look at it, potato, potato, right? So we have that bearish divergence right there, which right off the bat speaks to more downside. But of course, of course, that's not the only thing we're gonna look at. Let's go ahead and remove these drawings. Right off the bat, wanted to say that though, we do have a Wilders above 50, which could be speaking to one of two things. It could be speaking to a reversal going to an uptrend, or it could just be this little spike which confirms that bearish divergence, right? So we're gonna look down here at the stochastic as well. We see the stochastic kind of on the upper upper end of the playing field here, angling down another sign for the shorts or a bearish sentiment in this case. So let's go ahead and actually look at what is forming here. Now we actually have a bearish pennant almost a bearish flag, but a lot of people will not be able to uh, discern the difference between a bearish flag and a bearish pennant. So we're gonna do that right here. The bearish pennant, okay, or a pennant regardless, is going to be the convert convergence of these lines right here. Okay, so in order to be a bear flag, we would actually have to have the higher highs happening here and the higher lows in a channel, right? We would have these lines running parallel. So we break down, ov obviously have this bearish pull downwards and then this pennant breaking off. And you can see we're kind of pushing to the center of this pennant right here. Now, if you watch stocks or you watch crypto, you know at the end of a pennant, we have a breakup or a breakdown. Generally, it follows market sentiment, and market sentiment right now is obviously bearish. So while I am long on GRT, while I am overall bullish on GRT, it does look like we may see some more downside. Again, none of this is financial advice. This is simply the reading of someone who's been looking at charts for years and years and years, and is giving you my opinion. You should never enter or exit any position based on what you hear from some random on social media, especially YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter. There are so many pumpers out there that you really never know who to trust. So right off the bat, not financial advice. So we see in this downward trend, we break down and we have this bearish pennant. Now something else that I like to do is we're gonna use the Fibonacci retracement. Now many of you know using the Fibonacci retracement, a lot of you will use it at a lower point to a higher point looking for a retracement and a buy target like so right here, you would have a buy target. Now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna take the start of this breakdown and use the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna start right here and go down to here and something very interesting we see right here. We actually hit this retracement right here and we have yet to touch it again. We actually double topped or triple topped rather at this 61% retracement to the upside, which means we broke down and we had our retracement up, and then this speaks to further downside, unfortunately, okay? So the short attack is in full swing. Let me go ahead and remove these right here. Now on this way down, how far down could we go? And that's really what people wanna know. So instead of the retracement, we're gonna use the Fibonacci extension using three points this time. The first point from the uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement we're going to use for the extension we're going to use the second point and the third point where we actually retraced to and i'm going to go ahead and unlock this here now for anyone that has never used a uh, trading view there's a free tutorial video this whole software this whole program is free you can practice your technical analysis and charting on the live market 
Okay, I just had to throw that out there just as a free utility to you guys that are out there that are wanting to get into technical analysis but don't know how or where to practice that. There you go, trading view right here. I'm not an affiliate. I don't get anything uh, if you use it, but it's here for you. Okay, so we can see right here we have a few lines to watch. And this is all speculative. If we do break down, we're looking for a break below this point right here to make a lower low, which means very scarily, we're looking at a 40 cent price target on the way down. And again, guys, this isn't a price target that I like to give. I would love to see this heading in a bullish direction, uh, but we have to be realistic right here. If I uh, was someone that was looking for an entrance, I would not be looking to get in right here. Now, could it shoot up out of this? Yes, of course it could, but I think we're going to see a bit more of this descending wedge uh, going down until we hit, unfortunately, right around 40 cents. Okay, so this is just uh, my speculative, uh, very caution-filled price target for the short term. Long term, we have much different things. We still have a $350 to $4 price target end of year for GRT, which we formed in January. If you guys have been subbed since then, you'll know GRT is one that we've been watching for a very long time. However, short term price target is $53 to $0.40. Cents. Again, not a price target that I like to see. But if we do happen to break lower, and even if we don't, within the next 24 to 48 hours, we'll put out another update video for you guys just to keep you guys in the loop, kind of keep you guys floating around in our mindset of what we're seeing when we look at these charts. So anyways, guys, remember the rules, no panic selling, no FOMOing, always have at least two justifiable reasons and that's a convergence of two indica indicators and or patterns that justify why you want to enter or exit any position until the next video guys make sure to hit that thumbs up subscribe if you want this content coming at you and i will see you later